Hey guys and welcome to the very first vlog on my channel. Uh, me and Charlotte have been filming vlogs for her channel but I thought I'd uh, give it a go on mine as well. So today uh, we're going to pop into town just to grab a few things and then I'm going to come back, do some writing on my brand new episode story and possibly do some uh, more stuff for the Episode Life website, maybe upload a few more backgrounds and then we're going to go to Wagamama in the evening. <clears throat> Charlotte actually doesn't know that I've started filming. <clears throat> <laughs> I think you're talking to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I've decided to uh, start filming for my own vlog on my channel. Well, I'll, I'll, anything I'll you want? <laughs> anything you want to contribute? <laughs> I thought you were legit talking to yourself. <laughs> well, Charlotte's been uh, singing along to some. I know. Some yeah. Songs. I know. <laughs> Did you Did I, Patricia the Stripper? Patricia, Patricia the Stripper. But yeah. Who's that? Chris the Big. Yeah. <laughs> I like so much shocks. I thought. I was enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is embarrassing. And before that, you were singing. Which song I'll, is it from Mulan? I'll Make a Man Out of You. I'll Make a Man Out of You from Mulan. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, in a moment, we are popping to town. Yeah after the, the karaoke session's finished. And then, yeah, I'm gonna do some work and then we're gonna pop to Wagamama later. <laughs> I was trying to catch you singing Patricia the Stripper. No, never. <laughs> never. Well, you missed a good one then. I was doing dance moves and everything for Tula. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> and there's Tula living life. Hello, Tula. I'll give you a sneaky peek at the dance moves. What's going on, Tula? What's that? <laughs> 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 That's what Tula was getting. Is it vase or face? Uh, I say vase. Yeah, vase sounds better than that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, check out our new furs, guys. It was from Asda, wasn't it? Yeah, so it was only, only £10. Which I think is really yeah. good. Although actually the label on the shelf said 12 or 15 I think. Yeah, 15. But hopefully we only paid 10 for it, because the sticker on the bottom says 10. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's nice and like, it's like a brushed chrome, isn't it? Yeah. And it's, it, it goes in with our like colour scheme. Yeah. The flat. It's really cool, so we're going to buy some flowers for that in town. Do you think they've got some flowers? Yeah, at this time of year they probably will do because it's towards the middle and the end of the summer that sunflowers come on. So. Can we get sunflowers? Yeah, sounds good to me. Charlotte's looking good today in her uh, denim jacket. Hey, where's the guns from again? Uh, I have no idea actually. Is it Primark? No, oh, if it is, it's a really nice one. I can't remember now. Can you see what's in the back? Let's have a look. Denim Co. Yeah, that is Pre Mac. Yeah. Pre Mac, yeah. well. Wow. That's pretty cool for Pre Mac. Yeah, it's nice and like soft bean as well. It's not uh, like an uncomfortable denim. Yeah. I managed to find this uh, jacket that I had in my wardrobe that was from River Island and I bought it. I think it was a year ago now. No, I think it was about two years ago. Yeah. It's a while now. And it's just been sitting in my wardrobe for ages. But yeah, what do you think guys? Let me know in the comments below. Just having a look at the uh, wine glass in John Lewis. Charlotte's obsessed with wine glasses. <laughs> oh, look at these ones. Party times. Just in a game, and uh, I've seen this Dreamfall chapters. I remember this coming out, well, the original Dreamfall games, when, uh, well, The Longest Journey and then Dreamfall, when I was much, much younger. And I never got around to playing them, even though this right up my street, because it's a point and click adventure game. So I may have to get this at some point. And I also, I'm really interested in this Little Nightmares, because it looks very similar to uh, 
inside, which I really enjoyed. A nice uh, creepy 2D platformer with 3D graphics. What'd you get this time, Shaw? Can't stop. Uh, iced black coffee. Black coffee. Yeah, you. Uh, I didn't sleep very well, so I need caffeine. Yeah, I woke up at like 3 a.m. and you were um, <laughs> still awake. Stay on you. So uh, you didn't get too much sleep. sticking my nails on and then I got this humongous box um, of the Elegant Touch totally bare stiletto nails. Usually I just get the like the small normal size pack but then I realised probably with the amount that I use I may as well just get the bump size pack so that should last me a while and then I was very naughty and I got a new nail polish. Don't worry, I'm not going to be like one of those guys that says, do you need a new nail polish? But the thing is, right, <laughs> <laughs> I don't have one this colour. I know it's a nude, and I do have lots of nude nail polishes, but none this shade. Yeah, it looks great. You know what I mean, ladies. <laughs> so, I'm going to do that now. I mean, I did pick up a anti perspirant deodorant but I don't feel like that's something that <laughs> <laughs> I do I don't feel like that's something that you would be interested in. Oh uh, and also I have drunk some of my coffee but I just put more ice in it which so it looks like I haven't drunk any. And I got uh, three Blu-rays for twenty quid in HMV. So I got Swiss Army Man which is a new one with Daniel Radcliffe in it. And I haven't seen it before. We'd missed it in the cinema didn't we? Yeah. Um, but I really wanted to see it when it came out because it looks quite funny and kind of weird uh, and I just love Daniel Radcliffe in anything so uh, and then I got Gladiator because uh, I have seen this tons of times and I absolutely love it but I don't own it on Blu-ray so just to add to the collection and Donnie Darko which is another one that I have watched loads of times absolutely love it uh, but don't have it on Blu-ray so uh, it's a weird one this because usually Blu-ray cases are all blue but uh, this is actually a clear case which is why I thought it was a 4K version, um, but no, it's just a Blu-ray one. I, I think, anyway. I guess we'll see when we try it in the <laughs> PlayStation. Um, but yeah, have any of you guys seen Donnie Darko? If you have, I'd love to hear what you think of it because I think it's brilliant. Uh, it's one of those kind of cult classics. And I remember watching it when I was like 19, I think, or eight, 18 maybe, when the first time I saw it. And it was so, so weird and just, awesome and I just love like 80s music and it's like full of 80s tunes so anyway that's what I got today and now I better crack on with some work and he's still got his sunglasses on his head ah uh, I always forget <laughs> I always forget that they're up there Joe's making a fashion statement yeah for the background ah uh, and look at that little poochie that's the face of a poochie She does like me though, doesn't she? Yeah, she loves you. She likes being smoothed into the chin. She does not like her feet being touched. No. Which Joe will try and do quite often. Oh, look! <laughs> oh, be still, my beaten heart. <laughs> she loves her daddy. Okay guys, I'm just about to get on with my work today. I'm writing episode three of my new episode story 
I've asked the team if I'm allowed to share any info about the new story, um, but unfortunately I can't just yet, uh, as exciting as it is. Um, but it's the story that I was working on with the team over in San Francisco. And all I can say is that it is not going to be fantasy for a change. So all of my stories, I've never written a story that wasn't fantasy before. So this is something brand new for me. And it's something that I've really wanted to do for quite some time now. I'm really excited about it. And I think, I think you're going to like it. There's still a lot of twists in this, so uh, you can expect it to feel like a Joseph Evans story, just without the magic and the kind of the immortal stuff and all that. So, time to do some writing. Wish me luck. Okay, that was a really good writing session. I got 200 lines of dialogue done, which is about what I want to get done per day going forward. And uh, I've also managed to upload some new backgrounds to Episode Life. This time I've put up the Rain's birthday party backgrounds from The Secret of Rain. So you've got all the different colours of balloons there, and they also come with either butterflies as decorations or fairy lights. And I'm really happy for you guys to use these in your stories, so please feel free to go ahead, download them, and upload them to your own portal and use them as you wish. So we've just arrived on Cardiff Bay. We're heading to Wagamama for a date night. Date night, date night. Date night, date night. So yeah, it'd be interesting to know, do you guys like a Wagamama as much as we do? Do you actually have Wagamama in your country? Because I think it may just be Europe. Do they? Possibly even oh, yeah. just the UK, I don't know. If you guys are elsewhere in Europe, uh, let us know if you have Wagamamas in your country because they are absolutely delicious. I'm probably going to get a katsu curry. What are you going to get, Sean? Um, don't know like my favourite is katsu curry, but then remember last summer I had katsu curry and they gave me a really bad summer? Oh yeah, you did, didn't you? Because yeah, I'm not very good with rice. Rice makes me feel really bloated. Yeah. But then, I don't know, you can't go to Wagamamas and not have a katsu curry. As we're welcome, we've got the Wales Millennium Centre in the background, which is a really cool, really cool building. You may have seen it on Britain's Got Talent. And there's Wagamama. Got our katsu, katsu curries. And some vegetable gyozas. Which are really cool. Some plush roses. And it's time to tuck in. Bon appetit. Killed it. <laughs> Enjoy that, Shah. Although Charlotte can't finish her rice. Well, this is the best thing about going on a dinner date with yeah. Joe. Is that so like 90% of the time I can't finish my meal. Yeah. Joe will finish this for me. <laughs> and that's what I'm gonna do right now. <laughs> I'm gonna steal a load of Charlotte's rice. Woohoo! <laughs> Extra food for me. <clears throat> yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Well guys, that was a lush meal in Wagamama and uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this first vlog of mine on my channel. It's a bit of an experiment. Um, but yeah, I will still obviously continue doing my YouTube tutorials, episode tutorials. Uh, I just don't really know what to do tutorial wise at the moment. So if you have any suggestions for me, please do comment them down below because uh, I'm not entirely sure where to go with it right now. So. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, and uh, see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.